Picture this, a hot, sweltering summer day in 1975. The sun beats down relentlessly, mirroring the intensity of the movie screen. As you settle into that dimly lit theater, the anticipation hangs in the air like a heavy secret. You've heard whispers about a film called Dodd Day Afternoon, but you have no idea what awaits you. And then it begins, the gritty tale of a bank heist gone awry. Al Pacino, with his wild eyes and frenetic energy, commands the screen. He's Sonny Wurtzik, a man pushed to the brink, caught in a whirlwind of chaos and desperation. As the hours tick by, you're drawn deeper into his world, a world where hostages become unlikely allies, and the line between right and wrong blurs. Do you remember that first encounter? The suspense that tightened your chest, the raw emotions that surged through you, and the unexpected humor that punctuated the tension. Perhaps you recall the unforgettable Attica. Attica, chant echoing a turbulent era's discontent. Now, let's dive into some fascinating facts about this iconic film. Did you know that Dog Day Afternoon is based on a true story, inspired by a 1972 bank robbery in Brooklyn? The real Sonny Wurtzik was a complex character, just like Pacino portrayed him. The film also captures the spirit of 1970s New York City, a city teetering on the edge of change. As we unravel these intriguing details, y'all gain a deeper appreciation for this cinematic masterpiece that continues to captivate audiences today. So, let's journey together through the world of Dog Day Afternoon, where the heat of the moment is palpable, the characters are unforgettable, and the story is nothing short of riveting. Buckle up, because this is a ride you won't want to miss. And it's all right here, in the pages that follow. Dog Day Afternoon, directed by Sidney Lumet in 1975, is a gripping crime drama inspired by a real-life bank robbery that occurred in Brooklyn. The film stars Al Pacino as the charismatic yet troubled Sonny Wurtzik, and John Cazale as his anxious accomplice, Sal. Their botched heist escalates into a hostage situation, drawing in the media and the police. The film's unique style is marked by its tense, real-time storytelling, which immerses viewers in the chaotic unfolding of events. Lumet masterfully balances tension with dark humor and explores themes of desperation, identity, and societal norms. Hasino's performance as Sonny remains iconic, showcasing his talent for conveying emotional depth and complexity. Dog Day Afternoon also challenges conventional depictions of LGBTQ plus characters, as Sonny's motivations become intertwined with his desire to secure gender confirmation surgery for his partner. The film's raw authenticity and unflinching portrayal of societal issues left a lasting impact on popular culture, influencing subsequent crime dramas, and highlighting the power of film to tackle taboo subjects. Dog Day Afternoon is a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences with its compelling narrative and memorable characters, firmly establishing itself as a cinematic milestone. In the 1975 movie Dog Day Afternoon, director Sidney Lumet strived for realistic continuity. Instead of using studio sets, most of the film's scenes took place in actual locations. The movie unfolds mainly in three places, inside a bank, on the street outside the bank, and in a barbershop across from the bank. Lumet wanted the audience to see characters moving seamlessly between these locations without the typical studio tricks. To achieve this, Lumet scouted a block of a Brooklyn street that fit his vision. He even found a vacant warehouse that could be transformed into a bank. This dedication to realism added to the movie's gritty and authentic feel. The intense situation portrayed in the film didn't deter the people involved. Bank manager Robert Barrett revealed that he had more laughs during that fateful night of filming than had had in weeks. Teller Shirley Bell quipped that if the cast and crew were her house guests, on a Saturday night, it would have been nothing short of hilarious. Interestingly, a young Matthew Broderick had a brush with the film's director Sidney Lumet and star Al Pacino on set. He visited the set with his father, James Broderick, who later worked with Lumet on family business in 1989. It's a small world in the entertainment industry where connections can span generations. In Dog Day Afternoon, Lumet's commitment to realism and the unexpected humor that unfolded behind the scenes added depth to this iconic 1975 movie. The 1975 movie Dog Day Afternoon featured the film debut of actor Chris Sarandon. This marked the beginning of his successful career in the entertainment industry. 
In one memorable scene, where Al Pacino's character, Sonny, negotiates with the police over the phone, the filmmakers went to great lengths to capture the intensity of the moment. The scene was filmed for a full day without air conditioning intentionally subjecting Pacino to the discomfort of the sweltering heat. This was done to better convey Sonny's fatigue and the tension of the situation. Another interesting aspect of the film is the phone conversation between Al Pacino and Chris Sarandon's characters. This conversation was largely improvised, adding a raw and authentic element to the film's dialogue. These details provide insight into the making of Dodd Day Afternoon and how the filmmakers used innovative techniques to create a compelling and memorable movie. In 1975, the movie Dog Day Afternoon hit the screens, capturing the intense bank robbery and hostage situation that unfolded in Brooklyn. Amid the film's production, some intriguing behind-the-scenes stories emerged. One notable tale revolves around John Cazales casting as Sal, one of the bank robbers, and Al Pacino's insistence, Cazale, who was notably older than the real Sal, got the part. Director Sidney Lumet initially opposed the choice, believing Cazale was an ill fit. However, when Cazale auditioned, Lumet changed his mind within just five minutes. This casting decision, though unconventional, turned out to be a crucial element in the film's success. Another captivating aspect of the production was the use of approximately 300 extras to portray the growing crowd outside the bank during the standoff. According to Lumet, the crowd swelled as the filming progressed, particularly in the late afternoons. The professional extras effectively guided the civilian onlookers to act convincingly, creating an authentic atmosphere. Despite the commotion, most local residents chose to remain, peeking from their windows like curious neighbors would. In the midst of the production, a pivotal event occurred. Al Pacino collapsed from exhaustion, leading to a brief hospitalization. Following the film's completion, Pacino decided to take a hiatus from movies, opting to return to the stage for a while. These intriguing anecdotes offer a glimpse into the making of Dog Day Afternoon and shed light on the unique circumstances that contributed to its enduring appeal. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the captivating world of Dog Day Afternoon, I encourage you to take a moment and reflect upon the personal tapestry that this iconic 1975 movie has woven into your life. This cinematic masterpiece, directed by Sidney Lumet and featuring Al Pacino and John Cazale, has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of countless viewers. Perhaps you were drawn into the intense drama of a bank heist gone awry, or maybe the complex characters and their moral dilemmas struck a chord with you. The film's gritty portrayal of life in 1970s New York City serves as a time capsule, transporting us back to an era of social unrest and political turmoil. Now, I invite you to share your cherished memories and profound thoughts about Dog Day Afternoon. Did it spark meaningful conversations with friends? Did it make you ponder the boundaries of right and wrong? Or did it simply provide you with a thrilling cinematic experience y'all never forget? Your unique perspective adds depth to the rich tapestry of this film's legacy. Let your voice be heard, and let us celebrate the enduring impact of Dog Day Afternoon together. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic exploration, and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. With warm regards, and a nod to the silver screen.